line init is one of the entry point function in client script and this usually gets triggered whenever you select an existing line let's say in sales order if you select a sublist line this gets triggered or maybe if you try to add a new line and when the new line is getting initiated this line init will get triggered for example i have already added this particular code it's the console it just uh, logs whenever the line init is getting triggered right so in order to make sure only line it gets triggered i have commented out the other entry points i have already uploaded this code in netsuite i can see the netsuite has detected the line entry point function here i mean the line init function and this has been deployed on sales order record i'm going to open a fresh sales order construction sales and sales order now the page is getting initialized now what we're going to do is we're going to select the customer now now on the right hand side we can see the line it is getting triggered which means the moment i select the customer automatically netsuite initializes the first line to be selected now if i go to item this particular line and if i select any item and then i'll just tab off and i'll click add the moment i click add automatically the netsuite will navigate to the next new line so when it moves to the next line or the new line the line it should get triggered so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click add line in it is getting triggered so i will select one more time the item and let me click add one more time so we can see the second time or the third time the line it got triggered now there is another thing now let's say i am going to select the existing line let's say what happens at that point so whenever you select the existing line also the line in it is getting triggered so let's try inserting a new line above this particular existing line let's see whether the line it gets triggered at that point so let's say i will click insert okay so when i click insert automatically the new line gets initiated above the existing line so at that point also line in it is getting triggered now let's quickly take an example whenever this particular line is getting initiated or line in it is getting triggered i want to default the quantity to some value so let's do one thing so i will add a code which is trying to get the current record so this particular line it function has an uh, argument like script context which has access to the current record and the sublists then we're going to add a if condition which says if the item sublist is getting triggered i want to set the quantity to 2 here the sublist name is nothing but item so i'm going to set the quantity to 2 so let me upload this code to netsuite using visual studio code now this particular script has been uploaded to the netsuite so i'm going to navigate to transaction sales and i'm going to click on enter sales order so let me select the customer so once you select the customer and if you navigate down now we're going to add a line items with some quant item selected and let me click add now if i now if you see the moment i click add it went to the new line and by default it set the quantity to 2 now let me try selecting some item on this i just click add the next new line will get triggered and it sets the quantity now let's check the existing line which is the first line if i select that particular existing line so our function should get triggered and set the quantity to 2 so i will select this line let's select insert that works so this is just a basic example so you can play with this line it entry point according to your requirement